Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on how to install WebLogic server. In today's tutorial, we are going to see what is WebLogic server, what are the prerequisites for the WebLogic server installation, and how to install the WebLogic server or what are the steps for this installation. So let's start today's session. So very first point is what is WebLogic server? So WebLogic server is application server which ho hosts the enterprise applications or the middleware application. The example of the enterprise application is nothing but a J2A applications. The J2A applications normally are developed by the business to actually succeed or to implement the business requirement. So in order to fulfill or in order to make the application runnable and to serve its intended purpose, the applications, application server plays a vital role. WebLogic server is one of the application servers which comes with the two types of server. One is called as admin server, and the other is called as a managed server. Admin server contains the properties, the communication information, and the other relevant information related to the configuration. However, the managed server is mostly responsible for the managing the business application. Now, so let's see what are the prerequisites for the installation of the WebLogic server. The very first requirement, we should have the JDK 1.8. The JDK 1.8, we can actually get from the Oracle server. Also, um, uh, particular from the Oracle website, the, the WebLogic application server also we can get from the Oracle. So Oracle is provided for the JDK as well as for the WebLogic. The next requirement, we should have the enough memory on the system or the machine where we are installing the WebLogic server. Doesn't matter it's a, your local system or the actual your production environment or the QA or your UAT environment. So you, we should have the enough memory to install. Otherwise, we will get the messages showing the not enough memory. Now the third thing, how to install. So before going to jump or before jumping into the how to install, we should have some basic understanding from where we get this all these installers. The very first installer we'll get from the, the Oracle and that is nothing but the JDK. Make sure we have the JDK 1.8 which is the prerequisite to install the WebLogic 12.1 onward WebLogic application servers. So if you are going to install JD, uh, WebLogic 12.1, we should have the JDK 1.1, uh, 1 1.8 version. So you can download the JDK and install. Once it is installed, the JDK will look like this. Let me go to the installation directory. So we have installed the JDK in my local system and it will look like this. That is the JDK bin directory here I can see. So make sure all the folders are correctly installed. The next thing is WebLogic installer. Again, the WebLogic installer will also provided by the Oracle. And you will see the installer look like this, Oracle WebLogic server installers. As it is says installers, it comes with the two flavors. One is generic installer and the other is quick installer, which has the uh, the uh, which comes for the Mac, Windows, and the Linux operating system. For today's demo, we have we are going to use the Quick Installer. So what you have to do, you have to just download it. Once it is downloaded, it will look like a a zip file. For example, this is the zip file you will get. So you you need to extract it. So I have extracted it, and it will once it is extracted, you will see the three files: the executable file. Uh, the HTML file and the TXT file. The one which I have created just a temporary folder, you will not see that folder because just I created for the temporary purpose. The README uh, will show us what are the steps, what are the prerequisite, etc. So if you want to go through, you can go through for your installation. So these are the things. First is JDK and the second is installer. Once it is done, make sure you have the enough memory on your drive. So in my current drive, I have almost 64 GB. That is enough. The next thing is how to install. In order to install, we can use the command prompt. That is command line operator. Whenever you use the command line, make sure you are running 
as an administrator that is one of the prerequisite for installing weblogic in windows system then what we have to do we have to go to the directory where we have stored the installer as i have shown you the, it we have recently installed uh, or we have the inst uh, weblogic installer here and it is it's a executable jar file so we have to go this location so we are at the location so first thing we'll check what is the java home so you can do the echo on the java home so which will print us what is the currently set java home if it is not currently pointing to this location then the next thing you have to do is you have to set the java home so in order to set the java home you have to use this command set java underscore home and then give the path where the java home is available now i would like to execute the 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 location or i would like to execute the jar file for the installation the command for the installation is as there is some bugs in the installation which asked us to provide the exact part of the exact part exact path of the java executable so we have to provide this complete path of the java executable that is because of there is a bug in the weblogic installer then we have to command hyphen java we have to provide the name of the jar file that is just we have extracted and where what is the location where you want to install the web logic so i have created one web logic folder at the c drive i will show you shortly so go to the c drive and here is the web logic folder currently it is empty now what we'll do we'll just execute this uh, command and we'll see what happens so make sure we have the admin rights on our directory and enter it as if everything java, java home is correctly set if everything is set correctly it will appropriately extract those files and try to install now you can see the cpu speed is 30 megahertz uh, you will see the, the the space must be greater than 300 mb so that is minimum requirement so you should have more than that then it is going to set the oracle home it is also going to check what is the java version the minimum jdk required is 1.8.0101 my current jdk is 1.8.0131 that is correct and the check is success also it check the for the certificate whether you have correctly or properly downloaded from the appropriate website or not then it is verifying some data and also copying some files and then it will actually start the installation of the java file or the installation of the weblogic server it will show you the percentage how much percentage it is uh, done and what is remaining for example i earlier tried to install and it will have this folder like structures i also captured few of the screenshot for you guys for example when i started installation uh, this is the first screen i got and where i can see um, like how much memory it is required what are the checks that is going through and the next slide actually this installation process quite good um, number of times so it's it will take like maybe around uh, 5 to 10 minutes to complete installation so instead of spend investing your time I just want to show you how it will look like so you will see the percentage complete 10 20 30 it will go to the hundred percent and it will finally give the message the installation is completed successfully now you can see the percentage going increasing increasing the next thing you need to verify is the directory where we have installed the web logic so you can see the web logic so the earlier it, this folder was empty and now we can see the the folders are getting created the files are getting created once it is finally created you will have the all the required file set and by this way you can install the weblogic server in your system i hope this is enough for today's tutorial for the next tutorial we will see the more details about the weblogic server keep watching this space and if you have any questions or queries do not forget to mention in the comment section of this video Thank you again and have a nice time.